Galaxy Glam. Um, welcome to what may be my last um, fursuit unboxing video for a long time. Not because I can't afford it or anything, just because, you know, this is already going to be my 10th suit. Um, and I just don't really have the room and I want to work on getting parts for my current suits. Um, instead of just, you know, keep getting more. Um, but, if you have seen, like, any of my social media, you know that I commissioned Shakaf for two suits um, back in March last year. Um, I got Rico. You guys saw that unboxing. Uh, Ripley is finally here. I was really scared she wasn't going to come. Because of the whole stuff going on with Russia and Ukraine. Um, because I had saw that USPS said that they weren't accepting packages to or from Russia. Um, so that made me really worried. But here she is. Uh, it's weird because with everything going on, she still took less time in shipping than Rico did. By like half the time. Um, but yeah. Let us just get ahead with this unboxing um when i was talking to andy uh shakap's like q a service person they said that they were going to make something special for me i don't know what it was i don't know if they remembered if they didn't that's perfectly fine um and me and shakap talked about because you guys know how i did a like, furries, American furries tried Russian candies. Um, me and Shakaf talked, and they said they'd be willing to send me other treats as well. So, I may have another furries try Russian sweets video. Um, except this time I may be able to do some actual editing on it. Because I now pay for an editing app on my phone. This box is so much bigger than Rico's was, too. And I'm pretty sure Rico was bigger. I don't know. I know I'm kind of rambling a lot, but... Yeah. This is a weird box. It folds. <laughs> what? There's a lot of folding in this box. <sighs> There's another box inside the box. <laughs> okay. I don't... Is that... No, that... I don't think that... Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm so confused. I got another Shakaf, um pamphlet. Oh, I think... I think this one has some different stickers this time. I got another uh, pin. Can't see it. And this time I also got some official Shakaf stickers. So, mwah, love you. Oh, this time they didn't pack it with packing peanuts. They packed it with foam. I'm going to lay in that. Maybe those are her paws? Maybe? Okay, so let's take the pieces out first. I'll tell you what, last time the packing peanuts, those were a disaster. Because they just stuck to literally everything, and I was like, uh, thanks. Okay, so that's the partial. What's in the box? Then? Is that the snacks? So much foam, I'm gonna dip my toesies in it. We'll open the box first, in the little box. Because it sounds like it's snacks. But I don't know. <sighs> oh, it looks like snacks. Food, food, food. Aww. Andy, thank you. It's a little ghost rider. That is so cute. I actually love Nick Cage movies, so that's awesome. 
I'm gonna put that on my wall. Thank you, Andy. And Shakaf. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through all of these treats on video just because, you know. Oh. Oh. Some of these look good. Oh my god. Russian Cheetos. <laughs> I'm excited to try these. Are they ketchup flavored? I didn't know they made those. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I love this. I can't wait to try these. Okay. On to the suit. Okay. We'll start with the tail first. No, the head keeps... Because they wrapped it in saran wrap, like all of the parts. So the head keeps rolling over and I keep almost seeing it. But I don't want to see it yet. For those of you who don't know, Ripley is a female. Um, she is trans, male, female. Um, she doesn't really care about pronouns. She prefers she, her, but she also doesn't really care about, you know, they, them, or he, him. <gasps> oh, heck it. Trash bag. Ooh, this is even softer than Rico's fur. She's a German Shepherd, so she's got, she's got to have the Sheppy tail. Where's my brush? There. Let's brush it out. Dude, that is so soft. Oh my god. Sorry if I sniffle a lot. I'm, I have a little bit of a stuffy nose today. Look at this red color. It almost matches perfectly with the jacket. Which is great, because this is... You can't see the back, but this is Ripley's jacket that I got from Not A Rat. Oh, I want to sleep with this. Mm, I like that. Alright, pause next. I like the way they did Ripley's paws. I'm not entirely sure why they decided to do them differently than Rico's. But, I like it nonetheless. So, let me give it a good old little brush brush. Okay, so, they are fully lined inside. This finger on both paws, is, the thumb is decorational. Yeah, decorational. That's a word, right? I don't, I don't know. So that one doesn't actually move. <laughs> Just these ones do. Um, they added this, like a mitten thing onto the end. I think that's so that when you have arm sleeves, it stays on better. Um, I was a little disappointed because Ripley's, like the black is supposed to be like down here. It's supposed to represent like a, like a gaming glove. Um, they also ran out of her correct red, so they had to use a bit of a darker red. It matches more to the jacket. Uh, eventually, I will be getting her another set of paws that, like, I can stick my thumb into. Um, but these are good for now. They're still cute. I just gotta try to move my fingers less so that it doesn't look so weird with the thumb. <laughs> floppy, floppy. I mean, if anything, to be honest, I could probably just, like cut a little slit in the thumb, and then put my thumb down there um, if I really wanted to. But they are fully lined. Um, were, are Rico's paws fully lined? I don't remember. I think they are. Pretty sure. Uh, but, like, look at how big they are. They're big bappies. They're cute. I love them. Okay, on to... Oh. They're very easy to put on, too, and take off. I like that. I always love paws that I can just... Because for TikTok, it's a fucking hassle. Okay. Time for the piece de la resistance. Her head. Oh, look at her nose. Her little booper. Okay. Can I just... Because I know Rico, I had the cut. Okay. 
remember, you guys get to see her first before I do. So I'm trying not to, like, look at her face right now. You're sick in me. Okay. I just cut this sideways. Maybe that'll work. Now oh, these scissors are not great for saran wrap. <laughs> this is gonna be a long video, I have a feeling. I'm not looking. Oh, I can feel her ears, the stripes. Okay, I think I got it all off. You guys get first look. Ow. I call her neck out. Ooh. I think she's even more lightweight than Reiko. Oh, look at her! My baby! And I already know I'm gonna get so many oh, Deadpool comments. And it's like, shut up. It's not Deadpool. Okay, she's her own person. I was a little conflicted with the hair at first because like in the whip they had shown me, like it looked really nice. It was all put together. Um, and then when they had posted like final pictures, like all of the different colors of strands of fur in the hair, they were like separated. And I was like, mm, that looks kind of weird. And I asked them, I was like, would it be all right if you guys could like, you know, sew the strands back together? Um, and they were like, yeah, we can do that. And I was like, awesome. I love that. Oh, she's so pretty. She does not have a pickable nose like Rico does. Um, but I didn't really have the funds to pay for that as well. Um, and Rico was more important to have a pickable nose since he's got his trademark nose ring. Ooh. Dude, this fur is so fucking soft. I don't, like, it's from the same company and everything as Rico's. And don't get me wrong, Rico was really soft, but this is so much softer. <whistles> like, if, oh. <laughs> I know that sounded weird. Forgive me. I can't wait to get her arm sleeves made with this material. Oh my god, it's gonna be so soft. I just have to get $500. <laughs> Arm sleeves are expensive, especially since she's got a whole Mario themed tattoo sleeve. Give her a little brush. A little brush. She's got the zipper, just like Rico has, which is good. I mean, I don't use his zipper often just because I've got a fairly small head, but. Does it really matter? You got the trademark. Shakaf logo in there. You have the strap to hold your head. Look at that lining. That is perfectly done. Look at that. her angry eyes inside. Oh. You got the 3D printed, um, what is it? Scaleras for her eye, like the area that's typically like the white. Her little T furs. Look at how far her mouth opens. I love it. She's got a little tongue, and they did the... Did they sew it? I'm really happy they decided to sew it, because originally they told me that for her tongue stripes and her ear stripes, they would have to, like, paint them on. But I was pleasantly surprised when I saw that they sewed it on, and I was like, good job. I'm proud of you. Even her hair is so soft. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just kind of like basking in it right now. On her ref, she doesn't have these black dots. Um, but Shakaf had asked me, they were like, would you mind if we put in like muzzle dots? And I was like, well, she doesn't have it on a ref sheet. Um, and then I asked, I was like, could you send me a picture of like what it would look like with and without? And they did. And I was like, okay, muzzle, muzzle dots look really cute. It makes her design a little less super simple. Um, one thing that did bug me a little bit about, like, when she was being made 
was that these over here, you see how they're kind of just like dots? They are actually supposed to be like little diamonds. Um, but maybe that was just too difficult to do. I don't know. I'm not a suit maker. Um, and looking at it now, like this line is supposed to like connect toward like at the end of her mouth, but it's fine. I'm not mad about it. She still looks amazing. She still looks like her. God, I think this is one of my, like, simplest suits. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, she looks like a boy. And it's like, well, yeah, but I mean, if I put eyelashes on her, you're really not going to be able to see them because they'll be in the black then. Plus, like, I wanted her character to be able to be one that, like, I could make male or female at any time depending on how I'm feeling. Like, if I'm having, like, a really dysphoric day, I definitely do not want to be wearing like a very feminine character um but like most days i'm fine with it you know it's no big deal uh but yeah you know just like that anyway let me put her on and stop fucking talking because i talk way too much also ignore my greasy hair and yes i did get a haircut and i dyed it blue it's gonna be like this for a while so, I know. I'm just excited to see how she's going to look with, like, her jacket and everything. And my racing chair. Not racing chair. My gaming chair. Since, oh yeah, that's another thing. She will be the face for all my gaming videos from now on. Since she is the token gamer girl. Or just gamer in general out of all of my sonas. Um, and I was really planning on waiting for her. Waiting to get her. Um, to start my gaming videos, but at the time, like, it wasn't looking like she was ever going to come, um, until everything was over, and I didn't want to have to wait, like, years to finally start. Um, but yeah, she will be the new face. We will be, I'll be sitting in my red and black gaming chair that I got specifically for doing videos with her. Um, let me put her on. She is super lightweight. Like, I think she's even lighter than Rico was. I know I already said that, but, like, it's astonishing. Ow. I got my hair. <laughs> Zooey mama. Ah, it keeps getting my hair. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wear a balaclava. Eh. There you go. Oh, look at her. She looks so cool. I love it. Let's look at her with her paws on. I think with boobs, it makes her look a lot more female. I think that's all you really need for a character to look female is mommy milkers. So when I want her to look masculine, I'll just wear a baggy shirt like I always do. Or a hoodie. Yeah. These paws are easy to get on. I love it. I was so scared she was never going to come, but look at her. Look at her hair. It looks so good. She's so perfect. She's going to be like the Fortnite kid of my sonas. But I, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Please don't call her Deadpool. She's not Deadpool. Uh, let me just quickly show you her jacket. I don't know if you can see it very well. But this is her custom jacket from Not A Rat. Um, finally, I can actually wear it with the suit after like a year after commissioning both of them. <laughs> I've had the jacket for so long and I was like, oh God, am I never going to get Ripley? But here she is. I'm so excited. Cause like Anthrocon is next month. And I like, I really wanted to have her in time for Anthrocon, and now I do, and I can wear her to Anthrocon, and, like, one of the best parts is her Sona is semi-shipped with Rico, and they're both Shakaf suits, so me and my partner can just, like, wear them together and get, like, real-life couple pictures and Sona couple pictures at the same time. 
I'm gonna have to practice my girl voice for Ripley, though. Needs to be kind of like a tomboy, you know? Not like my voice right now, it's way too deep. But maybe, like, <laughs> something like this? I don't know. No, that sounds too gay. <laughs> that is too gay. Hi, my name is Ripley. How are you doing? You want to play some games? I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. I'll have to work on it. I used to be able to do, like, a really good, like, ooh type voice, but, like, now I can't anymore because <laughs> my voice is just fucked up. But, like, ah, she looks so good. She looks so perfect. I love it. Shakaf, Andy, if you're watching my video, again, thank you so, so much for bringing both of my sonas to life. You did amazing. You did just as good as I expected and exceeded my expectations. <laughs> Sorry, I'm stimming a bit, okay? I'm happy. I finally don't have to worry about Ripley getting lost or being sent back or anything. Oh, God, there's something in my eye. Oh. <laughs> Ow. I think it's a hair. Okay. Okay. Wait. No, I didn't get it. It's still there, but it's not as irritating, so I'll quickly finish up the video so that <laughs> I can take it off. Uh, but, yeah, like, her ear stripes, those are sewn. Her tongue stripe sewn. Vision, just as good as Rico's. Love it. It is a bit harder to see during the day because since it's white eyes, you know, the white light shining at the white paint, it kind of makes everything seem a bit lighter. Um, I'm sure at night it'll be easier to see. But um, she's got super soft fur. she got her little T furs. Perfect. I'm just going to say this now. Perfectly like sculpted snout perfect they got her like ear down like because like in her ref they're kind of up but i wanted them a bit back so that she could have like a sassy um they got the white nostrils really proud of that oh they got all the different colors in her hair the I don't know if I already said the hand sewn stripes on the tongue. They did the thumb, even though they typically won't do five fingered. They they did it for me just as a decorational finger and I'm so happy about it. Ah <sighs> Shook half Andy. Thank you so much. I love you guys. I'll I'll definitely be commissioning again in the future when I have another Sona that I want in your style. Um Heck, maybe even one of the boys I have now. <laughs> I'll commission you for another head of them. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Thank you again for the treats. I'm very excited to try them. I will send you the link once I make that video. I'll probably do it with my partner and my friend that I'm, we're going to be staying with at Anthrocon. Um, it's not the same person as last time. But I hope you guys enjoy that too. Uh, thank you. For making my babies. <laughs> I'm kind of trying not to cry right now. Um, but thank you for making them. I plan to keep them forever and cherish them. I love them so much. Um, but yeah, Galaxy Glam is out.